So, hello everyone, my name is Jesper, I'm from Astera. Welcome to this Pixel Brick product walkthrough. The Pixel Brick is of course built with our famous Titan LED engine, which means that you have the RGB, mint and amber. You have a wide range all the way down to 1750 Kelvin and all the way up to 20,000 Kelvin. CRI and TLCI is 96 or above and depending on what kind of color space you want to use, RGB, HSI, X and Y or our filter gels, this can of course be set in the Astera app or is accessible behind of the light on the display. The Pixel Brick has a native beam angle on 13 degrees, but we of course made filters for it. The click-in system with the Pixel Brick is made a little bit different than the other lights, so we can simply just do it like this, click it in and then we have a softener on, on our beam. So that means if you're using it without the softener, the beam isn't perfectly homogeneous. You need the softener if you want to point it to a surface. Here in this video you can see the difference between the native beam angle, also the beam softener of 17 degrees and also here at the end with the 30 degree filter. We also made a dome for the pixel brick, just in case you want to soften the light even more. What is cool about this dome is that we can actually twist it here, take off the dome and then we have a 120 degree filter underneath that we can take out, screw on the dome here again and then we could put it on our pixel brick. If we remove the dome from the frame, the dome is also compatible with the AX3 light drop. It's made like this because with the 120 degree filter you have a very soft light and without the filter you have more a hotspot up on top here on the dome. Using the dome for instance also at the arrow what we do here creates a total different look. So instead of having a hard beam from the pixel brick we create an eye candy effect with the dome here. As you know from the NUX power station and also the AX2 with the airline track as you see here, we have the airline track on all four sides and also with a new thing we call it pixel brick slide system. As you see already here on the right side on the list, there is a bunch of accessories which have each their purpose. So let, let's just dig into it. Now, first of all is the brick bracket. The brick bracket is also included whenever you buy a pixel brick. It's basically this feed here where we can simply just change the angle, lock it and then we have a specific angle. If we turn it around, you will also see that we have some different holes, but also an airline track right there. Which means that I could now take my track pin here, simply just click it in, tighten it, and then we are good to go and hang it with a super clamp or even in a gobo head. So this was the airline track right here, but you also might see the little thread down here where we can actually screw in our baby pin. The second hole over here is more if you have a G clamp and then we can just take a bolt, put it through and then mount our G clamp right here. So you have with the brick bracket here a lot of options for mounting. As you see on the back side, since we have this airline track and also this slide in system, then we can just do like this, take off the bracket and then we have the pixel brick just as an up light as well. On the back side here we also have four holes here with threads which fits for the eye bolt. So now we could simply just take it here, screw it in and then we also have a option to safety wire our light while it's hanging up in the truss. The pixel brick is of course very small, very versatile and works great as an up light wherever you want to place them. However, it is a multi-purpose light which we can arrange in clusters and also build geometrical shapes. Let's start with the brick connect. The brick connect is what you see right here that actually allows us to build matrices but also connect them together very fast. Click it in just like that, take your other light just like that, click and then we have two lights connected. What you see in this video, we can also build matrix, we can also hang them in the truss using the brick bracket with a track pin. When we want to release them again, we just use this little spring here on the side and take them apart nice and easy. The next thing you see here is the brick hinge and these numbers here on the side are actually the degrees because we can actually connect pixel bricks and then simply just angle it like this. Just like the brick connect it's also very easy to just click in just like that, take our second light and click it in. Now we can open the screw and then angle them. In this video here for instance you see a circle what we built but also a heart shape. 
These accessories are of course made for you to be even more creative and build your own shapes and create something extraordinary. Right here is the brick tilt. Of course, when we have the hinge, we can build different shapes. And with the brick tilt, we of course can angle the lights differently. Again, just like the other lights is this slide in system right there. Then we can take our second light and connect it just like that. Now we have the option to angle them. You will also see that we have the degrees right here and we can also change the direction in the way they actually angle themselves. So now we can have them inverted like this and we can just change the screw, lock it for instance like that. As you see in the video here, we built a sun shape. So this is one of many shapes just for you guys to see what is actually possible. And with the brick tilt and the brick hinge together, we will also be able to build 3D shapes. Now coming to the brick mount. The brick mount might look a little bit the same as the brick connect, but it has a flat side right here and have also a different purpose. Now let's try slide it into the pixel brick here. We could, for instance, in this thread here, just plug in a baby pin, for instance. And as you see in the video here, we also have the option to screw it to a plate use the brick connects with the pixel bricks and make a nice column out of it. So just keep in mind that you can combine all these accessories and create some really nice shapes. So whenever you build shapes out there, make sure to have one bricking point per four light you use, just to make sure that you are safe, just as you see in the video here. If you want to be sure about how you save the lights in the proper way, then you can find this information in the datasheet, which can be found on our website under Pixel Brick. The Pixel Brick have all the same controlling options as you know from all of the other Astera lights. We can take our Astera box, pair the lights to the app, and we are good to go with changing colors, create effects, groups, etc. As you know, the Nix bulb also as the very first Astera fixture with direct Bluetooth control, the Pixel Brick can do the same. So what this direct Bluetooth control actually means is that we don't necessarily need to use the Astera box, but we can take our tablet and connect directly with Bluetooth to the light and then control other Astera lights. The light of course have a built-in CRMX wireless DMX, so we are good to go whenever we want to work with a lighting desk. The Pixel Brick can work hardwired as well, power and DMX. We have made power data combination cables in different lengths, so we can connect it to our power box and also daisy chain the lights you will see in output. And it actually doesn't matter which one acts as in and output, the light will figure that out itself. We can daisy chain up to four lights on one output. The power box has two outputs. Each one of them are 86 watts, which means that you can connect four pixel bricks to the right one here and four to the other one. So one power box can power up eight pixel bricks and also give them data all eight. There is of course power con in and out right here. We have DMX in and out, and then we also have ethernet for artnet or streaming ACN. And we can also mount the power box in many different ways, depending on what fits in your occasion. We made different length of power data combination cable. This one is five meter. We also have a 200 millimeter version right here to daisy chain the lights. And they also come in, like I said, five meters, but also 10 meters and also 15 meter cables. The Pixel Brick is of course IP65, so you don't need to worry if you want to use them outside in rain. Important here is that if they have to be IP65, we have the two DC plugs and we have our DC socket covers here. Simply just plug it in and the light is now IP65. Important for the power box here is that it's actually suitable for outdoor use and most importantly, also when you wire the lights. As all the other Astero products, we of course made a charging case for the Pixel Bricks as well. What you see in the video here is the arrangement of the case. It's not too big, it also has wheels, so it's super easy to transport. Since we do have all these accessories, brick mount, brick hinge, brick tilt, 
etc. Then we also have a separate accessory case for all these. There is a top layer and also a bottom layer where you have all the accessories with. The reason why we have two different cases is so you can decide if you just want to have the pixel brick case with or the second case with all the accessories. Also means you don't need to carry all the accessories in case you don't need them. The pixel brick has a total LED power of 15 watt. After we calibrated it, the power draw is 12 watt. It has a very high output on 450 lumen. Also very extraordinary is that it has a big battery pack built in, so you can use it on maximum brightness for six hours. Of course, we can set the runtime behind on the display or in the Astera app to have it run up to 20 hours. So I hope you have learned everything there is to know about the Pixel Brick. Thank you for watching.